What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book and title, Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father, Amazon Kindle Create Space. Go ahead and get it if you need it. Um, do black men know black women better than black women? Now, I'm sure I heard BGS say something. And I heard Sergeant Willie Pete say something. That, um... This pretty much along the same lines. They both said, um, you sisters don't know yourselves as well as you think you do. And I see this over and over again in social media, on and off YouTube. Brothers that tell sisters something and women will be either dismissive or defensive about what's said. And brothers will leave it alone. And let a little time pass. And these sisters will start regurgitating the same things that they were defensive and dismissive about when a, when a brother told them the same thing prior. So this is part of the problem. Like this is how we know we know y'all, you know, better than y'all know yourselves. Because One thing BGS was talking about was feelings. Like, women think a lot with their feelings. And everybody says this in history. Women think with their feelings, 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 feelings. You know, I feel this way, and I felt this way, and I was going through this, and my emotions were here. Women are emotional, men are logical. But when men are talking about women, we're talking about our experiences and how these things pr play out on a regular, practical basis. And a lot of times when we talk about the, our experiences to women, we're talking about numerous women. We're not talking about a particular woman. And women have a problem processing that because it's like, well, I'm not like that. That's how you feel right now. But that doesn't mean because you feel like that right now. If, if that same guy were to do that same thing with you, it'll probably work out the same exact way because... How you feel is not how you operate. So, and this is coming from a guy, I do some dumb shit sometimes. Like, I went out last night and did some dumb shit. You know, I wasn't even thinking about it. Sugar had to tell me, like, you know you did this. I was like, wow. You know, oblivious to, to what I was doing. Because instead of communicating, I just, you know, said one thing, then said something else, and then did something else. And, then, and I was like, what? I did that? Shit, I did do that. I didn't even explain why this went to this and this because I was listening to you. So, you know, I'm not saying, you know, guys ain't guilty of that because shit, I've done, I've, like I said, I've done some dumb shit. But what I am saying is when a, when a, when a guy will present it, I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, I, I've known women who... Um, are in abusive relationships. I've known women in abusive relationships. Like, you know, you're going to wind up getting your ass kicked by this guy and going back to this guy because you don't love yourself enough and he's kicking your ass and that's what you think you deserve. And people are like, oh, that's a little too straightforward and that's a little too deep and that's a little too real. No, it's not that. She get her ass whipped enough. You know what? Eventually, you know, she, she gets out of that relationship. I didn't love myself during that period of time. He just was... You know, I don't, I don't, he just, he treated me bad and I kind of, you know, I was depressed and I was down on myself and I thought that was what I deserved. But see, like I said, that's how it works out in practical application. You know, I told women before, like, look, y'all need to stop getting pregnant on purpose, tricking guys to get y'all pregnant because y'all want to have babies. That's not what we doing. It's just, and then come to find out, you know, and, and, and a little, little time goes by, it's like, wow, when I got pregnant, I wanted a baby to love me. See, once you give it, say the sentence, I wanted a baby, you know, I want it, this is what I, that, that means you went down that path knowingly and, and, and uh, cunningly created situations that, that could get you pregnant. You, you were having unprotected sex 
with numerous guys because it wasn't the one night that got you pregnant. It was one of them nights that got you pregnant. And one of those guys, you know. And, and I know plenty of sisters who, like it or not, don't want to say it or not, they don't practice uh, safe sex. They, they, they do their damnedest to not practice safe sex. But when that happens, it's like, uh, that's not what we're doing. Yeah, it is actually is what you're doing. You know, that's why the abortion rate is so high. That's why the STD rate is so high for, for, for our women. That's the, the how you feel about it and how you how, the, how it works out and operates in practical everyday life. And what you can see with the, the facts and data and statistics are two different things. Your feelings are different from how it plays out in reality. You know? Like I seen sisters, I seen men tell sisters, look, you you treat black men like this, but every, all non-black men you you put them on a pedestal. No, we don't. No, we don't. And then I've seen sisters watch other sisters do this and go, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do that. You know, you got mad when he told you that, but I just saw you do it right in front of me because sometimes y'all don't see yourselves until. Uh, another woman can tell you, yo, you did exactly what that brother said you was doing. And then it's like, oh, well, that's just that one, that's a one-off. No, that ain't a one-off. That's a reality. You know, same thing. Um, sometimes fellas and brothers and sisters get together, talk a little bit, chop it up. And the women that have their complaints, the men that have their complaints, we're trying to hash out what's was fake and was real, and I, I come to I, I come to see often that a guy guys tell women the deal, you know, like yo, you can't be an angel and a thought at the same time. And well, you know, my girlfriends are not like this, and my girlfriends are not like that, and we feel like this, and we feel like that. And it's like okay, now when everybody's sitting at the table and hashing everything out, you are starting to see that, you know. How they feel is different from their actual actions. You know, I'm a, I need to be treated like a queen, but I'm screwing another woman's man. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't that's not, um, I was about to say queenly, but that's not, that's not it. That's not, that's not, that's not regal. That's not regal. That's, that's some, that's ratchet. It's not, that's, that's ratchet, not regal. So people have regal feelings and mentalities, but really ratchet actions. And then, and brothers will point this out. It's like, ah, well, it's because, it's because, it's not because, uh, no, we, we're not making you do these things, you know? And then, and then sometimes even the sisters sit at the table and they start looking at other women like, wait a minute, this is my crew. These are the women that I say, you know, they not like that. But then when I put down situation for situation, they're actually exactly like these guys are saying that they are. And though these women's excuses were see it's because it is and this feeling and I was go going through this and this guy did this to me. So I reacted by, you know, being a side piece with this guy. When you take the feeling part out of it, the actions are still there like. Yo, like, no, not not a good look. You know, the same thing when, when men say, look, the way you present yourself, you present yourself like you lack self-love with, with the excessive hair and makeup thing and not taking care of your body part. So says, no, it's not that, it's not that. And then, then they got team natural and team whatever, right? And the natural sisters are like, you know what? I didn't really love myself when I was wearing the perms and the weaves. And you know, people love me more, but, it, you know. And now they're looking at it like, yo, you know what? You guys was kind of right. But now this is a thing that they have to talk to with other women, not necessarily the men. And, you know, the same thing with, um, I remember Harvey, Miss Superboy 223, talked about Lupita Nyong'o a while back and he was like yo she's a fed they treating her like a fetish and black women was like no they're not and then about six months later they was like they was treating her like a fetish and he's like I tried to tell you this shit 
And that's the problem. Like, we see, you know, we see how it's this is going with y'all. We see y'all patterns because we deal with y'all on a practical level. We don't deal with y'all on a feeling level. So, though we can understand that you're emotional and your feelings lead you to do things that you might feel is out of character, at the end of the day, the things you've done uh, are representations of your character, not how you feel about, not how you feel about things before you did them. You know, if you you know, you feel like you was in poverty and you didn't have a way out, and you robbed a bank and you got caught, you're a bank robber. It's not you don't get a lighter sentence because see, I see, I was feeling like you know the world was closing in on me and. You know, I just robbed the bank. I'm still a good person, but I just, you know, I pulled out a couple of guns, ran up in a bank with a mask on, said, give me all you got. If you don't, I'm going to kill you. But I didn't I didn't do that from a bad place in my heart. It was just, I was feeling desperate because I was broke. But, you know, just like, well, I understand that. I understand that. But it's mandatory. 20 years. Bang! Because you did that. So, you know, the question at the end of the day, do you, do black men know black women better than black women? And I'm going to tell you something. To be honest, we look like the canaries in the mind for y'all on a regular basis. So in some ways, I have to say yes. Now, women, could y'all could spin this and make this about, you know, well, we might know y'all better because of this and that. Prove your case. That's all I'm going to say. Prove your case. All right. 